Hi guys. Yeah, so three Christians on a cross. That should raise a couple of eyebrows. <laughs> so you've got your three crosses, right? So this one here, that's paradise. This one here, that's third heaven. This one here is inherit the earth. All right, so it's basically, this is your three types of Christians that you've got. So you got your new Christian, the new one, the one that's just accepted Jesus, right? Um, he's, he's, um, he's in, he's got his stamp, right? So he's getting to paradise. So that's what he's got. So you'll see the, the one saved always saved, they'll, they'll aspire to this one here. So they nail themselves to a cross and they don't have to, you know, don't need to do nothing anymore. You just, you've got your, you got your way in. All right. So then you got <clears throat> this Christian here. Uh, the term dead in Christ will rise first. Those in Christ. All right. So if you're in Christ, <clears throat> you're not nailed to a cross. <laughs> you're, you're now in Christ. All right. Holy Spirit has grabbed hold of your life and has changed your life or is in the process of changing your life. Um, <clears throat> you, you're no longer relying on lotto tickets or making deals with God saying, oh God, you know, if you let me win this lotto, blah, blah, blah. Your hope is now totally in God. You don't buy lotto tickets. Um, all that sort of stuff. All right. You give it, you're working on giving up smoking or drinking and all your habits, are, all your addictions are going. You're not addicted to Facebook anymore. Um, whatever. All these habits, uh, Holy Spirit is helping you get rid of. You're involving God in your job. You've probably got a new job. So every day you're asking God to help you with your job. You'll say, God, God bless the people um, during your job. You're not ashamed of God no more. Um, and uh, yeah, just everything everything you do will be with God in your life. All right. Um, regardless of the consequences, you don't care <clears throat> um, about that people will you want to sack you because you've mentioned God. All right. You won't worry. You'd, God will just find you another job, all right. That, so that's when you're in Christ, right? You've died with Christ, um, and now you're living like Christ, as Christ, right? You're, you're born again, basically the full-on one. Um, and then you've got this one here, inherit the earth. So this is Judah, um, basically uh, those that still haven't accepted Jesus yet. Um, and uh, the, and the rest of the world. So they're, they're, these guys later on will be um, wandering around in trumpets and that. And later on, once they realise who Jesus is, <clears throat> yeah, that's when they'll start to kick in. So yeah, that's basically your three three Christians. So the the um, the thing about lose your salvation. All right, that's this lot. They're always going on about lose your salvation. All right, you can't lose your salvation. What they think salvation is is just paradise. They don't realize you've got rewards. All right, this one here is where you get rewards. So you can get rewarded the hundred and forty-four thousand. You can get rewarded the elders. You can get lots of rewards. You get your crowns and all that sort of stuff. And you can lose your rewards, and then you just go back to here. All right. So they think and this is the goal. This is just the starting point. This is. This is uh, not what you should be aspiring to. You should be aspiring to be here. All right. Um, and yeah, and this guy here, he's just, he, yeah, got to wait till he figures it all out. That's later on. <clears throat> but um, yeah, so all that, um, can you lose your salvation and all that sort of stuff. Um, that's uh, that's a bit of a worry because, you know, because you, you can't, these guys are still new, or they, or they're not actually asking God to show them the truth. All right, so they, these ones here, all they'll care about is truth, and they'll just want God to show them the word and all that sort of stuff, and they'll ask Him all the time and pray Him that He shows you, um, shows you the stuff. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's basically along those lines. Anyway, all right, I hope that helps. God bless, guys.